No me digas. Oh my god, I, this one is is gold. <laughs> it's a very good phrase. No me no me digas. No me digas. And this literally means don't tell me. No me digas. Uh, it can be used in different situations for sure, but it's similar to saying really, 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 as a question, um, or don't tell me. Just the, you can be, uh, you can use it just, you know, if you want to say don't tell me, or in some situations you can, or you can use it as, you know, really really the phrase the word really so if someone is telling you a gossip or something juicy you can say no me digas okay really or when you uh, when you are kind of worried or disappointed uh, and you don't want to hear bad news you <laughs> can say this um, and it's similar to saying don't tell me that something's wrong. No me digas que algo está mal. Okay? So, yeah, it's a very good phrase. Um, <laughs> it's a good phrase for sure. For example, Laura se fue ayer llorando. Laura se fue ayer llorando. Drama. No me digas. No me digas. So someone said to you, Laura se fue ayer llorando. You can say, no me digas, no me digas. Okay, so what does this mean? Laura left crying yesterday. I forgot to add here yesterday. Ayer means yesterday. Um, and then, no me digas, really. So, someone is saying something important, right? And you want to know more about it. Um, it's funny because no me digas means don't tell me, but actually it means the opposite. You want the person to tell you more about it or you cannot believe what you're hearing, okay? Laura se fue, se fue, uh, se fue means left. Uh, specifically when talking about one person, right? Laura se fue. Laura left. You can also say, ella se fue. She left. Él se fue. Uh, he left. Okay? Um, ayer means yesterday. Llorando, crying. Okay? So when you say se fue, this phrase you will have a verb in a gerund form conjugated in a gerund form which means you just add the ndo uh, for some verbs um, usually all the verbs actually llorando comiendo patinando pensando okay so yeah yendo oh it's um and yeah, you add the N, the O. Sometimes there are some verbs that are irregular. So yeah, there, there are, you know, exceptions. But usually N, the O is, is the ending for the, uh, for the gerund in Spanish. Laura se fue llorando ayer can also work. This can go in the middle of the sentence before the gerund or uh, after. So... Laura se fue llorando ayer, or Laura se fue ayer llorando. Both are correct, and that means Laura left crying yesterday. Um, and yeah, we have just a, <laughs> no me digas, really, no me digas. Well, that's bad that she left crying. Uh, you want to know why? Um, you can show some interest and say no me digas no me digas really okay so we have another example actually i think there's another example 
right below this one. Yeah. No me digas que ayer no viniste a trabajar. No me digas que ayer no viniste a trabajar. This means uh, don't tell me you didn't come to work yesterday. <laughs> We're using ayer as well. Um, again, ayer, yesterday. You know what that means. Trabajar, work. Um, when, when you say... Um, viniste a trabajar, come to work, okay? Well, it's actually past tense. So, came to work, someone, not you, uh, but um, that this is what this phrase means. <laughs> Great example, <laughs> Lindsay. No me digas, qué pena. Pobre Laura, I know. <laughs> I know, great, great example. Okay. So let's break this down really quickly. Uh, we're almost done, guys. We have this uh, last uh, sentence and then we will, yeah, we will uh, look at another phrase and that's it. No me digas, literal translation, don't tell me. And... Keep in mind that you will need to use que. Okay, so no me digas que. That's to add more to the sentence. Ayer, yesterday, no viniste, you didn't come. So it's like saying tú no viniste. We don't need to. I, I'm just letting you know because sometimes you might think, where is the pronoun? <laughs> I don't see you anywhere in the phrase. Well, or in the sentence. You know, you know why. I always say this. We don't need personal pronouns all the time. Um, okay. No viniste. You didn't come a trabajar to work. Okay, so that's how this or what this sentence uh, means. And uh, yeah, you know now how to use this phrase. You can use it if you want to say really. Hmm. Or you can use it if you want to say don't tell me. Don't tell me something happened. No me digas que. Just remember you need que when using it as don't tell me. Okay, don't tell me. Um, so, no me digas que, da, da, da. Um, very, very good. Very, it's a very good phrase. Mm -hmm.